Hello, YouTube friends. Jordan from jacobcovenphoto.com, photo school free, the YouTube channel, and today we're going to talk about um, hot shoe flash. Okay. So first, we'll go over some modes that this flash has. Um, you'll notice first right here. 1 8th, 1 16th, that's the power. This is TTL. We'll go over that in a second, but this is back at full power, 1 half power, 1 fourth power, 1 16th. Um, you can also set the zoom manually, 85 millimeters back to 24 millimeters, setting the zoom uh, manually. Also set the aperture manually, 8.0, 5.6, 4.0, 2.6. Or 2.8. Um, so yeah, and then you can also set the ISO manually. That's what we're doing right here. TTL metering through the lens is basically what the camera is reading. The flash um, also reads. Notice how it turned on at 400, 5.6, and uh, 35 millimeters zooming. And uh, the cool thing about TTL is it also reads what your what your lens is doing. So if your lens is zooming in or out, it can read that and automatically adjust the um, flash, which is I think is cool. Um, yeah, so that's that. We're at 50, 24, 28, 35. This flash goes from 24 to 85 millimeters, so that's the range that it works in. Um, this right here. You see it's at 5.6 ISO 400 um, shutter speed at 160th but the shutter speed really doesn't matter because there is no shutter speed up here you see this is at 405.6 watch see if I switch the shutter speed to 125th it's not going to do nothing because there is no shutter speed up here because the shutter speed is irrelevant as far as um, flash goes unless you're shooting too fast so if I change the f-stop, 3.2, 2.8, notice up here, it's also changed to 2.8. So that automatically reads um, what the settings of your camera are and uh, changes automatically. So yeah, that gives you very good, um, very clear exposures a lot of times. Um, you can also set your ISO. It also reads what your ISO is doing, but it doesn't go... Because this this flash goes up to 800, it doesn't go all the way up to 600. So, yeah, and then also bouncing light is another thing you can do with the flash like this because it has a swivel head. The head moves as you see, back and forth, forth and back, and um, you can just kind of bounce. Wait, oh, wow. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so if you're shooting straight on this is the look you're going to get you have shadows in the background it's sort of flat nothing to it nothing special about it and uh, yeah that's kind of what you got shooting straight on now you can turn this up right here and reflect the light off the ceiling and take the photograph and then it's a better way way better looking photograph just because you don't have a lot of shadows everything is pretty much lit up correctly and um, even the outside you can even see outside which is cool um, I don't know why that's cool but anyways also just notice that um, it looks a lot clearer everything does just, it just looks more professional I guess you could say and uh, another thing this flash has is slave mode and what slave mode is is you turn it on and then you get another flash whether it's on your camera or off of your camera turn that on then you just pop your flash and both of them go at the same time so that's slave mode it's basically like a slave to the other flash but anyways that's flash thanks for watching peace out